Hi, I'm Kyle with Stern Pinball. In this video, we're going to go over the different switch tests in the diagnostics menu in your pinball game. To access the switch test menu, we will need to use our service switches. So we'll need to open the coin door. We'll also need to pull the interlock switch to provide power to the play field. And to test most of the switches, we will need the glass off. To enter the switch test menu, we will need to get into the main diagnostic screen here go into the Diagnostics menu and select Switch Menu. Once we enter the Switch Test menu, we're presented with a few tests. Let me explain what they are. The Switch Test is going to display the last activated switch on the LCD screen that you have hit. This is used to test switches individually. The Active Switch Test will have the game present us each switch that it sees as closed currently. Switch alerts will present us with any possible errors uh, when a game hasn't seen a switch close for some time or maybe a switch that shouldn't be closed and has been reporting as closed for too long of a period. To select the switch test, we'll use the black button to enter switch test mode. We're presented with a message here, switch test, press any switch to begin. We can reach for any switch on the play field and actuate it. I'm gonna press this switch here. When I pressed it, the game immediately detected that we hit the left target as shown in the upper right hand side of the screen there. You'll notice on the top left, the switch also has a number. This one is number 28. In your manual, you'll have a list of switches that are numbered. You'll also have an image that shows the position of those switches that relate to the number on that chart. This can be useful for correlating those numbers between the chart and the actual physical location on your playfield. The other information shown on the screen will show us which connector these switches report to on the core nodes underneath the playfield, as well as the wire colors that are attached to said switch. Using this Venom Pro here, I'm going to show you how to test a few of the common switches we'll use on our pinball games, as well as some tips on how to best test each type of switch. As we demonstrated previously, when you hit a switch, the game will immediately show the switch you had last hit, as well as play a noise. This noise can be really helpful in identifying when a switch has been actuated. Testing a stand-up switch can generally be done by just pressing it with your finger. When the ball strikes the face of the stand-up target, it is closing the two switch blades together, which will then have the computer read that as a switch closure. Another type of switch commonly used on our pinball games is an optical switch. An optical switch uses an invisible beam of light that when broken by a pinball, will register as a switch closure to the pinball game. There are some instances when using a pinball instead of your finger to actuate a switch is going to produce better results. Let's try testing this roll under switch using the pinball. Let's roll it under the gate and listen and watch the screen as we do it. So we can see there, in and out, we got a switch actuation, listening for that noise and watching the screen respond, showing us here the right loop entrance. Another switch type that is best to use a pinball to test is a rollover switch. These are commonly found in your in lanes and out lanes on your pinball game. The reason we don't want to use our finger to test these is depending on the switch adjustment, pressing into the routed hole for the rollover switch, the soft squishy part of your finger may be able to depress the actuator further than a pinball could in actual gameplay. Active switch test is going to show us switches that are reporting closed. If we had a stand-up switch that was bashed shut and the two blades of the switch were constantly closed, the switch would never register, but we could use active switch test to see what the game's computer sees as a closed switch. So these are all the switches it sees as closed right now. These switches are supposed to be closed. In this instance, it's showing the ball trough switches as being closed, and that's because there were five pinballs in the trough at that time. So this is what active switch test looks like. Also, if that switch, uh, that theoretical switch that was stuck shut that way, that could also give us a switch alert. The game has seen a switch that it knows shouldn't be stuck for a long time as not actuating, not coming open and closed, and that might come up as an error saying, it's like, hey, you might wanna check that switch. If a switch hasn't been actuated and let's generalize and say 10 games, if the game hasn't seen that switch change state, 
it's going to say you might want to check it. it. Might not necessarily be bad, but it wants you to go into switch test and actuate it to see if it's still functioning. So what we're seeing now is we're able to go through all of the switches that the game is seeing as like not actuating. These dip switches are on the computer and that is the actual position. They never change. So now as I move through it, it's showing us every other switch it can read, but we have no other alerts. For more information on how to maintain your Stern pinball machine, check out our other tech school videos.